Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the tech news for Wednesday, October 7, 2015. In today's news, we first have news about Windows 10 mobile release. Um, it is later than you than you know they really wanted to, but um, officially Microsoft did announce that the final version of Windows 10 mobile will be released in December. So in the month of December, as time goes on, you will have um, Windows 10 Mobile released to different devices, a little bit like Windows 10 was released gradually to everyone. Uh, so if you have a Windows 10 compatible uh, mobile phone, you will have that slowly coming to your phone in December. So uh, it's much later, I think they were want, they wanted to release this in October, um, if I'm not mistaken, and it's uh, been like longer than they thought basically but you know what I think it's better that they send it out later and you know make sure that it's bug free uh, that's for sure in other news edge versus Chrome that's interesting there's a, a number that came out today from Quant Quantcast um, basically that company checks for web usage and can tell you know which operating system is used the most and so on and they released a number about Windows 10 specific users and that number is quite interesting out of you know Microsoft announced that we're more than 110 million people now with Windows 10 and what happened is Quantcast checked for browser usage in Windows 10 and they came out with an interesting number they were saying that Edge is only 10 percent of Windows 10 users so that means that only 10% of Windows 10 users at 110 million means 11 million Windows 10 users are using Edge. And that 70% are using Google Chrome. And that's a very interesting number. Uh, you know, we think that uh, Edge would probably dominate more and it doesn't. And, um, you know, I, I just need to think about the fact that if they had released a final version of Edge instead of some kind of unfinished version, maybe that would have changed. So uh, Google Chrome dominating at 70%. That means that, you know, together it's 80%. The 20% that's left probably is shared between, um, you know, Firefox and uh, Internet Explorer, which now have very, very little numbers. Firefox, uh, the latest number I've seen is like 11%. It's really 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 minimal browser now Firefox really really disappeared from view basically uh, from the web and so uh, that's an interesting number um, we'll see if you know things change as we get the uh, threshold two updates uh, in November for this uh, browser war and today uh, Gabe all actually tweeted a little bit of information at the request uh, somebody asked you know When's the Insider Preview? Can you expect one today? He said that if you're a Windows 10 Mobile Insider, uh, expect soon. It's in the final ring and it seems that the uh, next Insider Preview for Windows 10 Mobile is upon us or almost uh, maybe this week. But he did say that not to expect any Insider Preview today for PCs, that's for sure, that they were facing a challenging bug. So no details as to what it is, but uh, apparently they're facing a really a, fa a, a challenging bug in Windows Insider Preview for PCs. So um, it means that you know it might take several days before they fix that. So don't expect anything today. Um, and with that kind of information, I'm not really sure we should expect one this week also. So uh, we'll cross our fingers that they find that bug as fast as possible. And hopefully, maybe next week, we'll have some insider preview. And finally, and uh, my last little feature, I want to do a, a little comment here, my own comment about the uh, new offering from Microsoft, the uh, Surface Book, which is that new high-end laptop. And um, you know, there's a lot of information in the, about that. There's a lot of people talking about it, um, lots of positive, lots of negative, uh, like every product, you know. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to give my take on what I think of that. First of all, I, I, I think it's a great thing that Microsoft has released such a device. I think Microsoft 
is um, you know doing a good thing and releasing these new hardware. I think it's a kick in the butt to uh, you know PC makers because this is high end. This is no crapware or you know uh, bad software installed, pre-installed. It's just Windows 10 straight on a laptop. I think that's a good thing. I think it's there also to show the PC makers, come on, you can do much better with your offerings. And basically, you know, I look at laptop offerings for the past two, three years. Man, it's boring. Nothing innovative, nothing new. Uh, it's just, you know, darn laptops. And what I really hate is the fact that all of these laptops come with tons of crapware from the companies. You know, I, I just hate it. You know, you buy an IHP laptop, a Toshiba laptop, a Dell laptop, you just have so much crapware on that. Uh, you know, I, I'm getting tired of that. And you know what? I don't want to have a free antivirus for 30 days. I can install my own. And you know what? I, I, I don't want to have these crap stuff that I have to uninstall. And sometimes, you know, it's buggy. And basically, you know, a, a lot of people have a bad experience with the Windows uh, ex the operating system. But it's not Windows that's a problem. Is the damn crapware that's on the laptop that makes the experience bad. You know, a lot of the comments I've seen on the channel about people saying, oh, I've uh, got this problem. Yeah, well, the problem isn't Windows, but they're mad about Windows or Microsoft. Problem is, when I read the comment, I see, no, you should be mad at HP for putting that crapware there because they're the one that changed that, not Microsoft. So, you know, uh, kudos to uh, Microsoft, and I hope that um, they may be offering in the near future a uh, less expensive laptop also, you know, maybe a sub $1,000 laptop for um, the average people. Um, a lot of people told me, oh, wow, 1499 is too expensive. Yeah, but then again, it's a very powerful laptop and it's clearly meant at professionals. So it's clearly meant for people that have the money to buy these and want to buy these more expensive um, laptops because they want to have powerful stuff. So um, it's interesting. I think Microsoft's doing a great thing in doing that. And I really hope that they uh, even offer more in the near future. And um, really, I'm, I'm happy that this happened. And uh, I'm happy about the fact that they also used a new design, something that's not necessarily you know what everybody does. So this was my little comment in today's tech news for wednesday october 7th 2015. if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when your videos are online if you have comments questions anything you want to know about windows any problems you might have we'll try to help you if possible remember every uh, tuesdays at 3 p.m eastern time we have a two-hour live show answering your questions hope to see you again on the channel give us thumbs up if you like the videos 